Hello, snuffing citizens of the worldwide nation, be you African or white Caucasian, red man, Middle Eastern, or even Asian, I've got the snuff reviews you're craving. Hi, everybody. From the dank basement, out of my mind with nicotine. This is your wicked Uncle Squinty. I have tried to do this review now six times or seven times. I think this is try number seven. And I have snorted a boatload of this snuff already. So if I fall over, you know what? This might be cool. You might get to see a blind guy die on this YouTube video. Kind of like Ray Charles hotwired to a car battery. I mean, this is crazy, right? Yes, high voltage Stevie Wonder. Yeah, cool. Anyway, Toke Spanish Gem. The story on this, I'm not going to show you the tin. There's Braille all over it and snuff all over me. Uh, this is one of Toke's flagship snuffs. It's a good one. And the story on this, and I'm sure someone will correct me if I am mistaken, but the story I heard is this was originally a Spanish recipe produced by a Spanish tobacconist who went out of business or died or was eaten by wombats. And uh, Roderick and the good guys at Toke took the recipe and revived it. And as I said, it's now one of their flagship snuffs, in my opinion, to my taste, one of their five best products from Toke. If you don't have this in your snuffing kit, you need to get some. I'm going to tell you before I even do the review, this is a five out of five, and I'll tell you why as we go through here. Okay, first of all, what color is it? <laughs> Dumbass, you're asking a blind guy what color it is? It's brown. It's brown. I don't know if it's golden brown, dark brown, light brown, medium brown, black brown, Charlie brown, sweet Georgia brown, Helen girly brown. What the hell? It's tobacco. It's brown. Is the color really all that important? Uh, I love uh, Snuff Begins, another snuff reviewer here on YouTube. I love his reviews. And he has this really fancy snuff inspection table with lights and you can see the snuff and color corrected glory yeah come on is it really that important no what's important is the aroma what's important is the consistency how easy it is to snuff how easily it stays in the nose how long the aroma lasts and how good is the nicotine how high the nicotine is <clears throat> excuse me that's what's important and that uh those things i can comment on even if I don't know what color it is. Okay, first of all, it is incredibly finely milled, as are some tokes, particularly their toasts and so on. Very finely milled, and that's going to cause a little difficulty for some snuffers, particularly if you are unaccustomed to taking finely milled snuffs. The good thing is, is that it's quite moist, uh, fresh out of the tin, and this is a very fresh tin, it tends to stick to your fingertips, even though it doesn't clump up when you pinch it. You can't pill it, really. The pill doesn't really want to stay together too much. But it is moist enough to kind of keep it together, especially in the nose. But do be careful, especially if you're a beginning snuffer, because this one could uh, cause a choking hazard, as they say. May present a choking hazard. Uh, it could go too far back in your throat. You know what I'm talking about. You hate that, right? Now, my right nostril from so many snuff reviews and a little case of hay fever, my right nostril is pretty much plugged up, so that's the one I'm actually going to use. can still smell through it. I've still got some air movement, but it's restricted enough so that I'm going to be able to take this large apple seed sized, sized, large apple seed sized pinch, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, rubber baby buggy bumper, rubber baby bunky bumper, bump, bump, bump. Yeah, you know, when I was in broadcasting school, yes, I was a radio announcer. Thank you to the person who pointed out that I could have had a career in radio. Thanks for making me feel useless and a failure. Uh, <laughs> when I was learning to be a radio announcer, they made us do tongue twisters. And my favorite tongue twister is, she stood on the steps of Burgess's fish sauce shop, inexplicably mimicking him hiccuping and welcoming him in. Try that fast five times, bucko. Oh, it fell right out of my nose. Isn't that delicate? Well, it is bready, biscuity. There's a, quite a noticeable level of Tonquin bean, kind of a vanilla scent to this. 
but mostly a nice sort of vanilla biscuit without having any vanilla aroma added to this. It is the Tonquin, I'm quite sure. There's also just a hint of something, I'm going to say citrusy, but not bergamot. This is not an SP. It does not smell like an SP, even though it is a Spanish snuff, Spanish-style snuff, I guess. Um, yeah, it's good. It's really, really, really good. On the squinty scale, where one is disgusting and five is wonderful, as I said at the beginning of the review, this is a five out of five, especially if you are a fairly advanced snuffer who is accustomed to taking finely ground snuffs. Now, if you're a beginner or you don't usually sniff finely milled snuffs, this one could present a bit of a challenge to you, as I said. There's no burn, uh, not really. The drain is very pleasant. It's got kind of a new shoe sort of smell to it. But in the nose, you're smelling that bready, biscuity, warm, honey-like, Tonkin-scented, marvelous scent. And that scent persists a very good long time. Okay, what is important to many of you is the nicotine level. As I said at the beginning of this review, this is take number seven, and I'm about ready to have a heart attack from all the nicotine. It's high. Nicotine on this is high. It's not as high as some. It's not in, you know, an NTSU Black or even a Toke Quit or a Q-Snuff Quit. Uh, it's, but it would be a good tobacco replacement snuff. So if you're trying to quit, I mean smoking replacement or chewing replacement, uh, if you chew, if you smoke, if you use tobacco rectally, you want to quit, this is a good one for you if you can handle the fine grind. Uh, and there's a trick to that, of course. You take a deep breath before you insufflate, maybe cake up your nostrils a little bit, like this. Or push your finger against the side of the nose a little bit when you take your pinch. I also recommend using your fingertips to pinch this one. Uh, this wouldn't be all that good for me anyway out of a spoon, certainly not out of a bullet. And cutting nice big fat rails on a mirror the length and width of a Ticonderoga number 2 pencil absolutely out of the question. You're not going to want to snort this like blow cane. But uh, <clears throat> for a little pinch from the fingertips, nice and warm, slow release into the nostril, you're going to love this. You're going to love this. So buy some, and if you don't like it, send it to me, and I'll snort the hell out of it. I love this toque, Spanish gem. I got this tin at MrSnuff.com, where it was fairly inexpensive. But you can also go to Toke's website at toke.com. They sometimes run buy five, get one free specials. Uh, sometimes buy ten, get two free. Yeah, you know, you have to visit the site to see what the deals are. But they ship snuff from the UK to the United States as well. Yeah, this is a good one. Roderick, you knocked it out of the park with this one, as we say in baseball. It's good. It's, uh, it's absolutely marvelous. From the dank basement, out of my mind with nicotine. <laughs> Snuff psychosis. This is your wicked Uncle Squinty. Thanks, as always, for watching. Hey, and if there are any cute girls out there who think that I'm really cute and cuddly, write me a naughty email. In fact, you can write me any kind of email you want. UncleSquinty.com no, not .com. What the hell am I saying? UncleSquinty at gmail.com. That's Uncle Squinty, no spaces. The U in Uncle, the S in Squinty, both capital letters, the rest lower case letters. UncleSquinty at gmail.com. Write me. I promise to reply quickly. Oh, I've got snuff all over me. Yeah. <sighs> Man, the stuff I do for this YouTube crowd, I swear. It's in my pocket. I got, I got Spanish gem in my t-shirt pocket. Delicious.